In the last screencast, we imported our UV texture and, and started to apply it. We need to finish this so that it will actually be the texture that is shown when we render our image. To do this, we need to go down and select, well, let me select our mesh right here. And then under materials, I'm going to create a new material. So to do this, note that I have the shading button selected and within that I'm looking at the material buttons and now I'm going to go over here and under links and pipeline I'm going to add a new material and then I'm going to highlight text face. And that's literally all I'm going to do. The one other thing I might do at this point if I was feeling particularly jazzy is I might hit the little race car icon over here on the, on the, on next to the material name. And what that does is it automatically names it as best as, as it can and it figured that I wanted to call this gray. Really, that's lame. I'm going to call it front and back. This is the name of my material. And now, this means, having applied this texture, this means that whoop, this means that when I come back up here to the top and say render the current frame, what it will render is this 3D shaded version with my texture map on it. We've actually now accomplished all of this. I'm going to show you one last neat trick in the last screencast, but basically we're done.